Oh. What's going on, creative people? This is Creativity is an Idea podcast, a source of creativity for creative people. And I'm your host, Pyrick. I'm very happy and I want you to stay tuned because it's going to be a banger. It's all about creative people sharing their ideas, their challenges, their setbacks and changes that led to their growth. It's going to be amazing. And uh, stay tuned and see what happens. Creative person like you. What day is today? It's the 16th of December. The 16th of December. And tell you what, I just, before I introduce the guest here, I just want to say something that I just noticed on a picture you sent me. Yeah. Today is the 16th and I saw you are going somewhere. Bam, bam, bam. Like, whoa, this guy is on the run. Yes. And that is really good. I like how you're grinding now. And if you are a loyal listener to this Creativity is an Idea podcast, you would know that BUD was on episode 14. And today he is about to share with us some things he has discovered when it comes to working with other artists. And also the other artist here is called Ali Steele, who is also known in Charlotte. And if you don't know him, then you need to get around more. So... And also, he came from Ghana, and he will be sharing some things he has also discovered, and is going to be more helpful to you if you are in the creative scene, or even if you are someone who finds joy in the creative things. So stay tuned, and it's going to be a banger. I'll let them talk about what they've seen, what they've discovered, and why they are working together, and what they are working on. All right, man. So, but yes, I don't need to really introduce <laughs> you. Be you the better understand right yes bud better understand this and ali i know you you have your session Mm -hmm. and you'll be solo in here so it's okay you'll be alone okay yeah (laughs) so you talk about what you discovered when you went to ghana and what you guys are working on now because i see the buzz on social media and the um the soul glow Yes, man, you got some costume on, costume uh, yes, on, which yes. is yeah. you gotta be giggling, man. Uh, yeah. Anyway, man, so tell me, man. So since your last, you know, session here, um, you had you brought you you did some great album. I listened to some of your songs, and they were good. I, I really danced to some of them. The one that had some Caribbean, oh faster, yeah, like spicy, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah the spicy, yeah. Spicy dance, that 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 was good one too, and um, some of the song also on it I did like it. So I want you to tell us, you know, okay. what you've discovered since the last time you were here. Like, tell us anything you think someone out there would really benefit from, or something you want to share with other people. I will say, um, tap into your creativity mm-hmm. and be yourself. I feel like that's what I learned the most, you know. Um, I'm one of the most creative people I know. So, you know, mm-hmm. I just feel like since the last interview, you know, I dropped my album right after the interview because yeah. I had my album release party, which was a great event. Uh, I had Phase God. He opened it up. Mm-hmm. Ali Steele was second. And, you know, we just had a real good time at the album release party. It was definitely a dope event. And everybody enjoyed itself. And, you know, to be honest, with uh, lack of promotion, because at the time I was trying to find a venue, it was a lot of people there. Mm. Had about 50 people there, which is a good turnout with no promotion. So, you know, just imagine with the promotion. So what I have been going um, to and um, been trying to do is rebranding myself. So Rebrand yourself. And that is like to sort of uh, piggyback on what you were saying is like, you know, promotion is really important. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I even posted something way back and it's like, hit music are not made. They are just marketed well. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can make the best hits, mu- the best music, but your family will just listen to it if you don't push it. Right. We, yeah. We're trying to be worldwide. That's the mission. That's the goal to have everybody on the globe know who you are that is excellent and know the message that you're sending and the fun you want to put on people's face yes that is excellent so 
And also, it's you said you 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 rebranding yourself. What made you really feel you have to do that? I just feel like now I really have to up the ante. Um, mm -hmm. So many people listen to my album and they say uh, B U D. What you got is definitely different. You need to market and you need to execute, and that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I just feel like if the people are wanting me to, you know, be around and go to these different places, mm -hmm. then you know, I need to do my job as a music artist and make sure that I reach those heights and reach those expectations of each individual that want to see me in their city or a different mm -hmm. state or a different country. Because I have people all over that really rock with what I do. They like the creativity. They like the visuals, the music videos. They like, yo, you on another one. So I just feel like my job is to do the best I can do and market the music. And give y'all what y'all see in the videos to your eye. Because at the end of the day, you know, I, I always do the unexpected. So, expect the unexpected would be UD. That's always been my mission goal. That is excellent. Yes. You know, you know, you you can... There's this... It gets to a point. Music is like you're sharing what is inside you. Right. And when the business aspect comes in, it's like you have to cater it to the audience you know yes <laughs> and that is really good you know you're rebranding yourself to be more of yourself to your audience which is really interesting so tell me man i'm startled <laughs> by the, the afro you have yes. on you just grew an afro in just two minutes man. yes that was so afro quick. How, and how you did know that the idea came from mm -hmm. ali when we were shooting a video uh to do the afro at first i was mm -hmm. just going to be normal I wasn't going to uh, have no type of costume or better yet use any props for the soul glow. I was just going to do like a normal video. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I leave it like, nah, just, you know, do you like continue doing the creativity. Don't try to, you know, back away from it. So I took his advice, got the fro and we went with it. Like, um, so that's pretty much I mean. Ali still, he's the soul guy. He got the most soul. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey. That is Definitely. even the smallest. I tell you what, you're trying to comb his hair with that. Hey, show me this, the the big comb you had. Right here, you have this. Yo, right so here. folks, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a giant comb like what I do. Okay, hmm. so if you're listening on um, any audio media um, podcast, let's say iTunes or Stitcher or Google Play. Just check on YouTube and you get to see what I'm showing now and what he has on his head. Yeah, because this is head. a lot of, you know, you got to get the Yeah, the he has to pick out, them out, you know? you know, which is. But we all for the natural look. Though, yeah, know? I like that natural yeah. look, man. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, man. Yeah, <laughs> heavens, know. only heavens knows. Just anyway. my oil sheen. <laughs> <laughs> so glow. <laughs> yeah, that is excellent. Hey. Just to even talk about this, um, coming to America, right? Yes. When they sit down in the couch <laughs> <laughs> and they get up, you get to see the soul glow all over the couch. And if yeah. you watch that session, yeah. So anyway, enough of that. But I want you to tell me, man, what 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 made you connect with Ali still? Because I believe you know working together is really important and a uh, cathedral. The cathedral wasn't built in a day. Yes. And it was with the help of many people. Well, I met Ali through a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. And we, our first song that we actually did was called Following the Traps. I did it with two other um, artists that's in Charlotte, mm -hmm. uh, Honey Dilp and Hitman the Prince. Mm -hmm. We did a song and I just... One thing about me, I always do. I always do like big collaborations with individuals, especially music artists that I feel that's talented. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I um, talked to Ali and then he was like, yeah, you know, um, just send me the song and I'll meet you at the studio. And we met at the studio. i never forget the day we met at the studio at Cliff because at the time, that's the engineer that I was going to. We did the song and then we actually did the music video as well. So it was just like one of those things that from there, then the next song we did was Carolina, which is to this day is one of our most demanded songs that we performed together. But we're trying to do Soul Glow Soul like Glow. that now. So I feel like Soul Glow is very sexy. Mm -hmm. It's very grown. It's for everybody. Like it's that song when you put it on, like, you know, you're going to light the candles, all the goodness. Hey, 
Just a point of correction. He <laughs> said it's for everybody. Okay, I'm gonna let my testing here, old uh, friend. Yes, <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> it is. It's for everybody. Okay, that sounds good. You know, Ali Steele, you'll be talking about what you discovered when you went to Ghana because I saw you. I saw the pictures. You know, mm-hmm. I saw the pictures, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I remember I've seen some signs when I was driving back in Ghana when I was in a bus, not driving. And Trotro, or Trotro okay. Hey, man, you're trying to blow my cover. That is when you when you um when you're going from Kumasi to Accra. Obviously, you're gonna take the the big VIP buses. No, we didn't. Get, you didn't? No, I didn't because I was on like a um, neo soul African tour. Oh, um, um, this um, this yoga instructor, mm. um, spiritual guy, <laughs> therapist, etc., etc., etc. Named Kami. He goes by um, Kamei Yogi as well. Um, and like he has like tours where he like brings people from America mm-hmm. and like travels over to Ghana and other places as well. Okay, so creative people, if you're listening, and you're not hearing what he's saying. Don't worry, he, I'll do a magic right now, and he will be in the seat where Bud is sitting, so that he'll tell us yeah. about what he's talking about now. But Bud, tell me, what is all this so glow about? Though you said it's sexy Soul and Glow stuff, is taking but, it back mm-hmm. to just the real love making music. Like that's mm-hmm. what the song is about. It's about being in love with somebody, finding that individual that you just have this affectionation with. Like you just uh just love them. You just wanna be around them, you just wanna hold do everything, you know. It's just that type of thing. And it's not nothing sexual. You get what I'm saying? I just Ooh. feel like it's more of uh, somebody that can stimulate your mind and get you to that point like dang you know I can't wait till I uh, get home and talk on the phone you know how you have a crush on somebody and you just want to talk to them all the time yeah. I just feel like with this song it remind me of that it remind me when I first fell in love back a long time ago long time ago yes. this reminds me of my <laughs> too I remember um, I was driving from work and yeah. He said, don't test and drive, right? right. So I didn't test and I just called, like, hey, baby, I'll be there in 15, you know? <laughs> and there is this anticipation you have, you yes. know, you're going to meet the one you care about and love. And, you know, it's and not about even sex, it's just about the presence of the, the electric vibration. Yes, the yes. presence of the person, her, his or her, if you're a lady, his or her, the, her presence right. makes you feel new, makes you feel happy. You know, if you had a bad day, it still brings out right. um, some fun in you, you know. And it's about just uh, the radiation of the spirit. The radiation of the spirit. Yes, it's like that. I mean, we connect on a spiritual level in this world. You know, you know good people, you know bad people. And I just feel like the chemistry somewhat play a part in it. But all is just the electric, you know. I just feel like your heart is, it can attach what you like. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like different people like different type of things with uh the person that they're with they may like that they are outgoing or they may like that they're the sexiest person on this earth or mm-hmm. they may just like to have monetary value mm-hmm. you know everybody likes something about somebody so it's just one of those things so you know you know yeah and i don't mean to piggyback on the sexy thing you were saying but you know even if we should be explicit Yes. Uh, you you may be uh, sexually attracted to someone, right? Right. You may want you have sex with the person, you meet with the person, you have sex and stuff. Right. And you don't really want to be with the person for the next 30 <laughs> minutes. You know how, yeah. I don't know, I'm not going to say you know how that feel, but it you, you like the person, you want to have sex, you have the intercourse, and then when you're done, you can't, stand her presence not because yeah. she's she's a devil or she's a bad person or she has been bad to you it's just that there isn't nothing left right because you got into the treasure box yeah and even yeah. even if you treasure it's just box. the connection and the energy you both share besides the sex you feel there is nothing more right. to be around again 
you know so like yeah. but for someone you like and you share the same vibration as you're talking about right. you can forget about sex you're yes. just going to meet the person you're going to meet this person with your soul glowing right <laughs> out exactly. there you know so i really really i'm in tune with what you're saying and i can attest to it right you know it's real i feel like love everybody needs it and everybody wants love as much as people say oh, i don't want to be with nobody everybody wants to yeah. be with somebody you don't want to leave this earth and not you know have children or uh, leave a legacy with your family uh you know i just feel like with this song that me and ali created and it's produced by dewan barino mm -hmm. of course you know um it's a dope the videos from the the trailer drops actually today so people get to see the trailer it's gonna be a dope video. Um, I think people gonna like it. We took it all the way back, and um, it's just one of those things. Shout out to everybody that was involved with the video as well. Yeah, we see. we went hiking mm -hmm. the second day with Ali to shoot some nice waterfall scenes, and we we was on a cliff, right? Yeah, yeah we was on a cliff. Ranger. Yeah, we was like the altitude was very high. So, um, well. Yeah, I'm scared of heights, just to let you know. So it's just like, oh, oh, you know. You said yours out loud. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about uh, you giving thanks to everybody who helped you out. I would like still to jump into your seat, right? right? And talk about his discovery and also what you guys are working together in his view and what he also got going on. Ali, yes, Ali, 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 Ali. Yes, sir. Right, man. So, uh, when you went to Ghana, they said you're a Muslim <laughs> because of the name Ali. It's okay. Yes. Some people don't know. I'll probably say the same until mm -hmm. you tell me who you are and where you're from. Right, right. You know. So, Ali, tell me, man. I know I've seen you around in Charlotte for a very long time now. I've been here for Mom, four years. You ain't never speak to me, bro. Hey, um, come on now. I, it's, okay, I see, he's seen me around. I, I see. Uh, this you is what I meet you okay, friend, okay, but okay, you okay, never okay. come and say, "Yo, okay, okay, this okay. is my name, brother. How you okay, doing, brother? Okay. I see you for the, you know, the tribe for the brothership okay. for the movement." He ain't never speak to me. All right, all right. This, all right. This, this, right. Let, let me <laughs> let, let me say this. Um, let me explain the first scene where I saw you. Mm -hmm. Candace was at a show. Mm -hmm. Um, Queen Candace. Oh, Queen Candace. Oh, now you get it right. Oh, I do. Yeah, you, but we, yeah. At um, Dap and Swat. Yeah, that was like <laughs> way, way back. Yeah, yeah. And you, there was an event that I was having um, with her. We were uh, partnering up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is how I got to discover. That time I was in branding and marketing, and right. um, I worked on her logo. Oh, well, so no. I was at the event, seeing how things are going. You on some of those things. You did a nice job. Ooh, man, I I, I resigned. Oh. I retired. Oh. Yeah, but now it's <laughs> <laughs> it's it's in um I'm in a whole different industry oh, now, and that is what moving, we are working on, which um it's all good. Okay. But anyway, that was how I got to know you, and okay. uh, you know, I'm not saying uh, I'm a shy person. I'm introvert. Mm. Oh. So um, I didn't get to talk to you, and I see you, you around in the crazy. <laughs> uh, it's always good to be behind the scene, you know. I'm behind the scene. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell me, man. Um, okay. I know you've discovered something, your experience going to Ghana as yeah. an artist and as Amazing. an African American going to somewhere you can find more and more of your people. Mm -hmm. and I ain't seen no white people, really. Oh man, you didn't go to some places. But anyway, mm, the way I seen them when I went to Cape Coast. Yeah, they were the uh, tourists. They were just yeah. Tourists, but right? other than that, honestly, but the whole time I was there, when I was in the crowd, when I was in Easter Kim, when I was in Kumasi, I didn't never see no. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I, I did. I see some white people and over there, mm -hmm. but it just depends on the location, mm -hmm. you know. So tell us. Um, Ali, mm -hmm. your experience going there and also why you decided to work with BUD and the thing you are working on. Well, let's start with Soul Glow. Mm -hmm. um, me and Bud came to me with Soul Glow. Um, you know, we always actually like try to collab. Mm -hmm. He's my friend, 
my friend in the industry as well, in the music mm-hmm. industry. Um, we both are good songwriters and everything. So he came with basically the bulk of the song with the um, chorus. He already had an idea for everything. Then he let me write my own little, mm-hmm. you know, verse to it and everything. Um, so it's a song like promoting, like, to me, it's a song about promoting um, energy. You know what I'm saying? The vibration of energy. So whether it's, you know, you making me smile, you making me happy, it, you making me mad, mm-hmm. or like whether I'm like just connecting with you as like my mother, my child, my sister, my brother. And to me, it's also can be sexual. I feel like energy transcends in so many different ways. And I feel like um, as people, especially in America, in the Western world, we always look at stuff as separate. And it's not. It's all the same. Energy just transfers in to different situations, you know, mm-hmm. and connects in different type of ways. You know what I'm saying? You don't you, the same energy that's vibrating when you like talking to your mother mm-hmm. is a different is the same energy you doing when you're talking to your sister, maybe in a different, but it's the same energy just transcending in a different way, but it still connects all in one circle. You know, it's not like different so i mean it can be different circles within the one circle, but everybody looks at everything separate and it's not it's all one. Yeah. Yeah, so the same energy, just that it has levels. Mm, and different connections. And different connections. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. So that is so glow. Interesting. So how did you guys, so if you should tell me or other artists the relevancy of working together, what what would you say about like working together well i mean first of all it's being african-american african you know unity is everything Mm -hmm. um that's something that we need to you know realize from the get-go like um the willy lit syndrome and all that stuff that's Mm -hmm. real this um systematic set set there's a systematic system set up for us to like go against each other Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying as peers as you know um Someone is older than me. Someone is fatter than me. All of that. It is like we just need to realize we need to, you know, unify and just like either work together or if we don't work together, work together, support one another. You know, just, just keep it simple like that. I try to support people I don't even like. Uh, okay. Yeah. You may. You. You are right. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Support them because you may like what they are doing, but some part of them you may not like it. I was just telling Bud that the other day. Like for me. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, like when people want to stand on you and shit on you or whatever. Can we cuss on you? We can't cuss. Or it's like Fuck ready. that. Oh, good. Because I just wanted to be very raw. See, I have to be real. Okay. I have to be um make sure that it's okay. But like you know um yeah when it comes to like people I don't really try to deal with people with negative energy and give it back to them unless they want to get physical or unless no. I feel really disrespected. Now if I feel disrespected or you want to get physical, then you're getting that right back. But if you're just throwing some lache or some little sauce, some little hate, mm-hmm. I'm going to be super nice to you because I'm winning, bro. Like, why am I mad at you? Like, you salty about losing, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to let you stay there, you know? Th- that is something. Wow. So, man, tell me. I was asking Bud about his discovery since his episode here. Mm. And I want you to also tell me, man, like, throughout your music and here and going to Ghana mm. in Africa, West Africa, like, what would you say about your experience? Um, it was a life changing experience. Um, I actually got to perform when I was in, um, Ghana on X Live Africa. It's a, um, like a radio station. A radio station. station. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was, um, it was a really dope experience. They actually thought I was a rapper because I guess, you know, locks, oh. American boy, you know, <laughs> I think because when we first started, it was all looking at me like, okay, he finna do some rap stuff. Then I started singing and they was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but, um, it was a great experience. Um, everybody I met was very welcoming. Uh-huh. Um, it was the most in, in when I was in a, everywhere I went in Africa, um, every city that I went to in Accra, I mean, yeah, every city I went to in, um, Ghana, excuse me, I'm talking about every city I went to in Accra. <laughs> in every city, every city I went to in Ghana, um, I, like, I just seen the hustle, bro. Like, I ain't never seen people hustle that way in my whole entire life. Oh, like, yeah, from man. 10 a.m., no, excuse me, from 6 a.m. to 10 at night, cause everybody go to bed early. There ain't, ain't nobody up. In the middle of night like that, it's a few places where you're going to party and stuff. But for the f- most part, it's just, you know, um, everybody works and then they go home and night. You know, they pray, they go to church, they go to school. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Soul Glow is the perfect song for like what I sing because you see everybody Soul Glow. And it's like either I'm out here hustling, I'm out here trying to teach you my religion. Mm-hmm. I'm out here making my crafts and my arts that I've been, I've learned from my father and my mother. Mm-hmm. Whether it's shoes, whether I'm growing vegetation to sell to you, whether I'm making clothes. It's like everybody is hustling. And like it, the only thing that I seen the difference between um, America and um, 
Ghana. Ghana. You know, you always you might always want to make stuff in call you say <laughs> Say arrogant and don't realize that you're talking about a continent, the and continent. then you know what I'm saying, and stay in the country. But a lot of people don't still get that. I get it, but I just think it's so funny because I still do it. Just you know, because we don't have the understanding over here over because here. we're so used to United States of United America, States. and then all these little countries not realizing that you know there's continents out there oh, with countries with inside of them. You know, so um, like I was saying, I just didn't never seen a hustle like that in my life with the opportunity of not being there. You know what I'm saying? Like of having a job of mm -hmm. se secure stability of a check coming in, you know, every week or every other week. Them, them people don't know when they're going to make no money, but they get out there and hustle anyway. Not kidding, man. Not kidding. Ah, you're bringing back memories, man. Yeah. I remember some of my siblings, some of my mom friends. They were all entrepreneurs, you know, mm -hmm. and my mom is an entrepreneur. She was until she got here. Um, my dad, too. It's like, you got to hustle. You got to do something. And you're not, sh it's not that you're not sure, but they have this way of making money. They make by Doing something legit. Selling. Providing value. Water. Bag, bag water. Shit. On the street. I, it was the, the biggest shock was to me was buying stuff from the car. Buying stuff out of the church or window. That is so dangerous. Like, no when people kidding. walk in between those cars and those cars are moving. Selling they have bread. motorcycles and stuff coming through and they just moving out the way. And the thing about it is that I thought was so cliche before I actually went to Ghana was people walking around with stuff on their head. Oh no, that shit is real. That shit is real as hell. Like, people be walking around with whole lot of damn saucers of shit on their head. I mean, bananas, mangoes. Everything you can think of Red, all on the head. Water. Yes. Everything. Toys. Yep. Sugar. Cocoa. Plant. You want me to tell you the one thing that, um, going to Ghana that changed my, changed me when I came back in a negative way. Mm -hmm. The yeah. only negative thing, cause everything else was positive. You know, I love the experience. Hey. I love the people and everything. But them goddamn plantains. I do not ever want to see plantains again. Why? Plantain soup, plantain chips, steam plantains, Yo. plantains on a stick, plantain, plantain, plantain. All I, I mean, y'all ate plant. They ate plantains with every meal, every meal, and it was just because I guess they grow everywhere. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But that was the one thing for me. Like I really love plantains before I went. <laughs> but being there for the time I was and eating that many plantains, it was crazy. Because I guess for us, you know, we are. On potatoes like that in America, oh, which is very unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? And then everything over there is, you know, natural. But y'all eat plantains like we eat potatoes over here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like plantains. Anyway, that is that is a good discovery. Like, not kidding, man. It's a good experience you're sharing with us because I want to go back and experience more mm -hmm. of what is going on now because mm -hmm. I'm missing out. And man, it's a pleasure, man, Ali Steele. I know you're going to come back and have your own session. Mm -hmm. And I would say it's good that you and Bud are working together. So because well. in this industry. Yeah, was, I mean, we started from the bottom and we went all the way to a lot of stages. We opened up for Spray. Yeah. So what BUD is saying that both of them started from the bottom and now they're here. Yeah. And they started or they did an opening for Sprite here in Charlotte, right? Yeah. Okay, thirst, yeah. Thirst and Blumenthal and all those stuff. So, man, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And where can they... I'm going to ask you, but where can they um, find the album? The album is on all... Y media platforms you definitely uh it's the outer savage experience he's gonna drop the link down here and also my website as well he can drop the link down there so i'll make sure i provide you so this is where we say <laughs> we are gonna have another take you want to switch <laughs> i had to just wait for you to finish saying it man so creative people this is creativity is an idea podcast okay. if you're listening we have here bud Better who is uh, oh better understand this yeah. BUD and Ali still here and they are both working on something which is called so glow do you want a little sample of it yeah I'll yeah. play a sample when they are listening they'll get oh, to yeah. listen so stay tuned at the end of this episode you're going to listen to what the so glow is all about you want a live sample yeah. of it I'm gonna need to practice today uh, anyway, so you, you, you did practice no I didn't practice I didn't get started <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, know, you want us to no, do Carolina? No, let's do the solo. Okay, 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 okay. It's gonna be a live project. It's gonna be a cappella. You have the beats, which I can tune oh, no, in. We're gonna sing a cappella. A cappella. Yeah. All right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you B.U.D. and Ali Steel. Presenting So Glow. So glow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> Alright, this is So Glow. Uh -huh. B.U.D. featuring Ali Steel. I know you feel a little vibration. Yeah, yeah. Cause baby, one thing, my queen, you make my soul glow. I know you feel a little vibration. Yeah, yeah. Cause baby, one thing, my queen, you made my soul glow. Girl, you know about my heart like a cardiologist. When we first met, I felt the shaking hand like Parkinson. Never saying. indoors like lawyers with the back and forth arguing. Silhouette, you be my aim, you who I'm targeting. targeting. No practice, this cupids will hit the core oh. like marketing. Let's get it on and let the marvel spin. Open up a. I know you feel a little vibration. Yeah, yeah. Cause baby, one thing, my queen, you make my soul glow. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a little sample. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let me see. I huh? know you feel. Electric vibration. Hey, so crazy people. You know what? My soul glow. That was a banger, man. That was a banger. I'm in tune. I would like to listen to it again, you know, personal. In my yeah, that that I feel the connection now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It really it's really congruent with whatever you were saying listening to the lyrics yeah. yeah wow so creative people you can get more of what they said or what they sung when you soul check his glow is what it is 2019 mm -hmm. we making every soul glow that is excellent <laughs> man so how can they find out more about that where can they find that soul glow will be on youtube my youtube channel is bud da vinci mm -hmm. it's bud underscore da vinci b-u-d underscore d-a-v-i-n-c-i so you can definitely check it out there uh, i also make sure i send you a clip so you can show the beautiful people mm -hmm. um releasing it today yeah, yeah the trailer so yeah trailer <laughs> After they, you know gotta clarify that cause they yeah like, what video yeah was? so it's going to be released today which is the 16th hold on let me ask you one more thing man if you guys were to talk about any random thing, gossip, compliment, anything, now, what would you say? Just let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Let go. Let bygones be bygones. Oh, I just That's, said let go and you yes. said let go? Okay. <laughs> let go. Let um, go. Be at peace. Be at peace. Which... And grow. And, you know, do what you got to do. Bitch, quit giving people your energy. <laughs> Bitch, quit giving people your energy. <laughs> When somebody come to you with that bullshit, <laughs> reflect it with something positive. That's that's my new that's thing why, for this yeah, year. Yeah, we making soul glows in 2019. Oh, wow. Hey, it was a pleasure, Creative People. And this was Creativity is an Idea podcast. And our guest here was Bud B.U.D. and Ali Steele. They are working on something great, which is dropping today. However, you're going to have access to it when you listen to this episode on Tuesday. Stay blessed. And actually... You're listening to it, if you're listening to this on Tuesday. So you can still have access to it. Check the links below. And anything they said, you have access to it. Oh, yeah. It was and a my pro will be gone when you see me and, you know. Man, he's going to yeah. cut all that. It took him like These two. Locks are real. <laughs> it took him two, three minutes to grow that. And he's going to cut it all away, man. It's sad, man. man it's know. a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure for you guys. Thank you again for having us. Yeah, it was dope, bro. Come in, man. Yeah. Right. I know this interview. Bro, they gonna got, be looking. You got family and um. <laughs>